Hey guys, welcome back everybody. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today we are going to configure destination NAT with session distribution on Palo Alto Firewall. In this case, your Palo Alto Firewall will literally perform load balancing. What is my requirement? My requirement is whenever internet user, user from the internet browse this public IP address, then Palo Alto Firewall should distribute the traffic between these two server right i have two private server here you can see one with ip 172.16.10.1 and one with ip 172.16.1.2 and uh, this is my public subnet which is running on this interface on um, um, ethernet 1 slash 1 of palo alto right which is in untrusted john and here is one internet user so if this internet user or any internet user will browse this public ip address the request will arrive to Palo Alto Firewall and Palo Alto Firewall should translate this public IP address into two different private IP address. You can see one is this one and one is this one, right? For these two private server. So whenever you have requirement of load balancing on Palo Alto Firewall, then you will configure destination NAT with session distribution. Now, without wasting our time, let's move to the configuration section, guys. Here you have to create first object. On the Palo Alto firewall to define the address right I have two private IP address two private server right that should be accessible from the internet so I will create one object here before configuring the policy NAT policy so let me check is there any NAT policy exist in the last class we had configured destination NAT so we will delete that policy here you can see two NAT policy are there let me delete both one by one delete it and delete it I've disabled it delete it yes delete and delete and go to object and let me create one object for you first address object let me click on add address object name it name is let's say for an example uh, LAN server or private server private server 1 private server 1 and here a type is going to be IP uh, net mask and here I will define the IP address IP address for server 1 is let's say 172.16.1.2 so let me say 172.16.1.2 Two, this is my first address object let me create one more address object here to match uh, the another IP address again name is private server 2 and uh, type IP net mask and uh, IP address 172.16.10.1 the IP address of my another server this one in the DMG T this is this server is in DMG John this server is in LAN 1 John okay so let me say 10.1 here and okay so you can see I have created two address object here with name private server 1 private server 2 and uh, now next step is we need to create address group here to call these two address uh, object let me create one address group click on add and name it let's say uh, private server again private server private server or private server access you can configure the description type is going to be a static and here is the address let me add the uh, address object private server 1 and private server 2 and let me say okay very good now we we need to configure the NAT policy we are done with address group object and address object you can see address group object is with name private server and here we have two address object right with name private server 1 and private server 2 very good now mm, uh, let me configure the policy NAT policy NAT policy and then we'll check the security policy the previous security policy will work or not maybe we need to create the new security policy here to allow traffic from outside to inside let me click on add here to the NAT policy and uh, let me name it name is uh, 
इंटरनल सर्वर एक्सेस इंटरनल सर्वर एक्सेस एंड ओरिजिनल पैकेट ओरिजिनल पैकेट सोर्स जॉन इज गोइंग टू बी अनट्रस्टेड यू नो इन द डेस्टिनेशन एट कॉन्फ़िगरेशन वी एल बी यूज सोर्स जॉन एंड डेस्टिनेशन जॉन टू टू द आउटसाइड लाइक द अनट्रस्टेड जॉन डेस्टिनेशन जॉन इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल्सो अनट्रस्टेड जॉन एंड डेस्टिनेशन इंटरफेस विल बी इथरनेट वन स्लैश वन here you can see one slash one and then you can define the service let's say service here i can say service http okay and the source source address i don't know the source address source address can be anything right uh, internet users are going to access my internal server destination address destination address will be the public ip address which is 200.1.1.10 right whenever outside user will hit on this public ip address or browse this public ip address with uh, http service then it will translate the packet translate the packet which type of translation we are going to configure here destination nat so let me select the destination nat and with that destination nat with here you can see we have one option of dynamic ip with session distribution so i will select this option right in the last video i had selected a static ip address this time i am selecting the dynamic ip this is also known as destination nat with dynamic ip session distribution right so let me mm, select this one dynamic ip with session distribution and here we need to call the address translation what will be the address translation in the address translation i will call to my address group my address group was here is private server right and uh, port number if you want to define here port number is going to be 80 by the way for my scenario and then guys distribution method like load balancing method session distribution method by default it is round robin if you want to change from here you can change to source ip has ip modulo or ip has or um, list sessions right so leave it on round robin on the default one and say okay so we are done with the nat configuration nat policy configuration let me check the security policy the security policy is allowing traffic from outside to inside or not here is my security policy let me preview it if we need to edit anything then we'll edit source john source john is going to be again c untrusted that is fine source uh, address is going to be any we don't know about the source address after that uh, uh, source user and source device any let me click on destination and here you can see guys destination john can be my dmg john or lan1 john dmg john and lan1 both are my um, um, internal john maybe both servers belongs to single john then you will select that then you will select that john here in the destination john and then destination ip address will be always what 200.1.1.10 which is my public ip address right and then application or service here you can define the service by the way you can see um, uh, uh, tcp 8080 service is allow i can delete these two all and i can add the service here or you can leave it on any service means service is any or um, i can add any one like let's say tcp 8080 for an example and then action action is allow you can see everything looks fine let me say okay and let me commit the configuration after the commit what i am expecting again outside user should be able to access my internal server through this public ip address and palo alto firewall should perform load balancing should distribute the traffic between these two server now until commit is working i will pause the video and will continue on commit will complete so guys commit completed you can see and now let me take you to my uh, to the internet user let me access the internet user pc and one more thing here on the server we can verify the http service is enable or not so ip interface brief okay password is cisco and so ip interface brief okay done let me check from the internet user say yes and let me open any browser 
Google browser and I am going to generate HTTP traffic or HTTPS traffic from here. After that, we'll see the monitoring on Palo Alto Fireball. Monitoring and traffic, okay. Here, even in the NAT policy, we can check the hit. Now here, hit is it should be zero. Yeah, this is my NAT rule, and you can see the hit is zero now. There is no any traffic from the internet user. Let me generate the traffic now. I am going to say uh, 200, 200 dot one dot dot ten, and let's say port number 8080. So I got the access. You can see. Let me log in. Password was Cisco, I think. Yes, you can see I got the access of internal server and on Palo Alto firewall. Now, if you will check it, let me rephrase it. It is still showing zero. It will take some time. Till then, let me take you to the monitor section. And here, let me see the traffic. So here is your tra traffic guys from the source 100.1.1.1 this is the internet user IP address destination IP address 200.1.1.10 which is my public IP address and uh, here you can see the translation the port number to port number. Now you can see now here I am going to rephrase this page once. Okay. And uh, now, if I will rephrase this page, so you can see the destination address and the NAT address, right? See, Palo Alto Firewall has translated this public IP address into this private IP address, and it is also translated into this pri private IP address, right? First packet, second packet, third packet, like this, you can see. Right. Again, if I will refresh, next packet will go uh, to DMG server. Again, packet will go to LAN 1, John, means to this server, LAN server. One is DMG server, one is LAN server. Right. Refresh. And here also refresh. And see. 172.16.1.2, 10 .2, 1.2, 10 10.2, like this traffic is going. So my Palo Alto firewall is performing load balancing here, right? So whenever you have this kind of requirement, then you will configure destination net with session distribution. Hope it is clear, guys. If you have learned something from this video, please hit on like button. If you have any question, query, concern, please let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, we'll meet soon in the next video. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.